Okay, today I'm going to explain how uh, waves are created from a double helix rolling wave based on the passage of smoke pulsing. So the top left hand picture shows how smoke spirals upwards. It pulses out in waves as I've drawn and the left hand rotation is counterclockwise and the right hand rotation is clockwise. As smoke rises it turns clockwise in the left hand rotation which is counterclockwise. This is because energy travels down counterclockwise and energy travels up clockwise. So in smoke it migrates, it travels up the left hand rotation but in a clockwise fashion but it's barely visible because it's not supposed to be there. It then crosses the rung and then goes up. So waves going upwards in smoke go up to the right and up, up to the right and up. Water on the other hand when you pour it travels counterclockwise. So basing it on this rung diagram, um, energy coming down travels down across to the right same direction and then down across to the right and down and across to the right. This is how AC current works in a double helix or any electrical circuit. Energy goes one way then the other, then one way then the other. So when energy travels, because it's also energy travels as a double helix and has cross connecting rungs in energy. So energy traveling up goes up to the right and up, up to the right and up. As you can see in the middle picture underneath, this shows it as a flat graph as a rolling wave from left to right. So the passage of water as it hits the beach goes up the beach across and up. Then it has to come down the beach so it comes down and across to the right same direction and down. Up across and up, down across down. This is the passage of energy in a rolling wave based on how smoke travels when it is pulsing energy. This just goes to show again that this double helix of how energy travels is being proved by everything I put it to. So we have up across up, down across down, up across up, down across down and underneath that you will see the passage of the energy and then you will see the passage of the wave. This is how waves are created on a beach. And all of this is based on a DNA double helix with crossover rungs. From everything that I put it to, it is showing by attribution that energy also travels in a double helix and it too can cross over in energy rungs from one side to the other because matter is designed to pass energy. Energy is not designed to go through matter the energy has always been double helix and it has always had cross connecting rungs. It is the matter that has been designed around the energy. And this double helix energy comes straight from 4000 years ago from Habakkuk 3.4 showing that in God's hand his power is hidden and it is either two rays, two horns or two lightning bolts that come out of his hand. And that is where the hiding of his power is. So this again goes to prove that uh, this double helix of energy is actually coming from God and is in everything in the universe and has created everything in the universe. My name is Lee and I am a Christian.